it's probably a 50-50 in terms of what I, as much as the words will need. So I'm going to run through this swiftly and approach it with that of a bird's speed. And I tried so hard to keep my soul out of this one. But I guess on occasions like this, it's always going to be hard not to miss the emotions. And that's probably because I've always got so much to say. And I could get this all popping, just like a microwave. And it would be nice if I could write like 10 pages a day. See, if I was in a pack of cards, I'm pretty sure that I could make it to the AC of spades. But then it's only at times when I feel I can get into this creative space. But right now, I feel like I'm getting back into my focus. As if I was getting into one of my old cars I owned from back in the days. Hmm. And I'm definitely finding new worlds again. And I'm doing this on my solo. Man's feeling sturdy. I'll wake up and start this jar merely early. My pen game's certified. I've got two times five lines plus another two. Then I've got a whole next bunch, which I know will be coming through. What I'm saying, it's getting to a point now where everyone's starting to know that I'm a writer. Imagine this Christmas, even my father had bought me a Parker. <laughs> but I should really be using my bro Ken's pen to tell this story. Because I want you to all listen and take shaheed to these words that I am breathing. See, when I speak my ABCs, I had my boy Thieve ask me to pull it up and repeat the beat on that poetry. It's like I'll step into a flow's vortex. The more that I do, it must be poetry. See, I feel I've got a natural right to pick up a pen, pad, and write, and big up these people along the ride that I've met on these open mics. You see, I don't toy around. I like the way that Toya Wright makes it sound when she's writing it down. That's true poetry emotion, because those words smooth, just like a locomotive. Could even slow it down. Let's make it potent, like those profound angles from Aaron Daniels. And Fisky's sick like flu could definitely show and prove that it's mind over matter. Some guy yesterday had told me about Cam Batter and his DMT dialogue, and I had to go and check it out. I guess we've all got a reason on what we're writing for. And without any intention, our secrets get transferred to the stage. When a pen bleeds, it secretes this healing aid that touches everything it touches by the time it reaches the page. And then it reaches the stage. So by the time it gets here and it's laid down, it's starting to hold us both up, acting sort of like a double-sided sticky tape. So no more of them days of flirting with a risky fate. I'm not trying to do things when it's too late. Life's too short, you get once, never two takes. And trust me, I've been through a pain that's way worse than a two fakes. And for that, yeah, I can throw up a finger to them fakes, forget their two faces. And we could never vibrate because their thoughts are too basic. All I'm saying is, just another living corpse in a matrix. But that's just how the system's made it, can't blame them. And that's why my mind stays fixed, maintaining, still stating and painting, annotate art gallery spraying as I'm laying down these terms in layman's with just a little kick, like them little kids just learning how to tie up his laces. See, when this mister reads, it could sometimes seem like a mystery or be a missed story. And I know it can get political and I can show you because I could give a demo that's liberal when I lay bars or even if it's just Tory. See, they know my flames may go from Spain to Diego. I'm a burning poet. My whole MO is so fuego. See, once that fire starts, I'll turn into a lion heart, the straight mob, for you to BBC or even hear on your radio. It's really quite something to get a knocker, putting words together, birds of a feather. It may seem random, but Darren knows they're well-versed, so whatever. And if you still don't know what time it is, you could go to the city, just by the bridge, and check out Big Benner. Right by those buildings with them white collar villains and Big Fetter, and that's a whole lot of cheddar. Whilst on the flip side, you might not have enough money to get yourself a new outfit. <laughs> but look, I've never been one to turn a molehill into a mountain. What I'm saying is, there's no need to cariah about it. You just have to be rags. See, sometimes you can gain right after a loss. Yo, I'll let yous do the math. Think about it. <laughs> Let me leave you with this as well before I come off the stage. Listen, you can always tell a lie, but the truth is nicer. Hit me up on Instagram at Latouche the Writer. Peace. Oh.